Hi there, welcome to another video uh, where I share uh, with you some of the uh, mementos that I've gathered over the years. Uh, I came across this recently. This is a bit of a time capsule from 1986. And I was working uh, for Channel 9 and the Sunday program and I got to go on a trip to India and it was only the second time I'd ever been overseas. So it was incredible experience obviously but what I did do was it was such a novelty that I kept these as the travel um, traveling related material as, as a uh, souvenir and I look at it now and it's actually quite interesting I've got these following items so there's the itinerary from uh, the unit manager Jackie Nesbitt um, the journalist was Laurie Oakes and the producer was Tom Krauss and the cinematographer was Peter Reedy. Uh, I forgot to mention what we're actually doing there. It was an interview with the Prime Minister at the time, Rajiv Gandhi. Just days after the assassination attempt, and as he prepared for his visit to Australia, I went to New Delhi to speak with Rajiv Gandhi and to ask him about that event, which sent shudders through India. It's just six days since the attempt on your life. How's that affected you? I don't think it's affected me at all. This one's interesting. This is it's like an introduction letter, you know, just to make it official that we've been given authority to conduct an interview with the Prime Minister. So that's pretty amazing. Is this one? This one here. This one's interesting. The actual um, visitors pass uh, into the Prime Minister's house, I believe. So that's where the interview was conducted. What's this there? Just some more stamps and things. I remember that. There was a lot of old school bureaucracy over there. And this photo for a nice mullet there, although they're back in fashion now. At a portrait studio for our ID, our temporary visitors passes. And then there's some um, currency. I presume that's not relevant anymore. His old school airline tickets, it always baffled me how once they'd ripped sort of all the sections out that that old fashioned carbon paper thing actually still made any impression at all on the final copy. So we did a couple of legs within India. Um, but pretty amazing. I was only 20 years old at the time and um, getting to work on such an amazing story uh, and meet a world figure like uh, Rajiv Gandhi. Anyhow, I unfortunately only have um, Betamax copy off air of the footage, which is a bit grainy. Um, so I can run a bit of that and I uh, hope you enjoy it and I hope you appreciate um, how amazing it is to have uh, hung on to this stuff. Thanks for watching. There's the world's largest bureaucracy, the longest queues, the tightest traffic jams, and you can ask Laurie Oakes about Delhi Belly. Laurie went to India this week as that country's uh, Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi was about to set out at a state visit to Australia. He's due here on Tuesday in the company of his Italian-born wife Sonia, a large entourage and an even larger security force. That such security is necessary is not in dispute. Laurie Oakes' exclusive interview for Sunday took place just days after an assassination attempt on Mr Gandhi that recalled tragic events of two years ago. Much in today's India has remained unchanged for centuries, but India is now a grain exporter, no longer a land of famine. There are five nuclear power stations. India launches rockets, manufactures sophisticated warplanes, exploded a nuclear device 12 years ago, and is entering the computer age. India is a lumbering giant, but a giant nevertheless. Rajiv Gandhi, who has a degree in mechanical engineering from Cambridge, has slashed taxes, eased bureaucratic restrictions on industry and freed up the importation of technology. But finding a solution to communal tension and the resurgence of Hindu, Muslim and Sikh fundamentalism is just as important, perhaps more so, as Mr Gandhi told a seminar of India's leading intellectuals only four days ago. Every community 
every caste, every linguistic group must be allowed freedom to flourish and prosper and develop. Yet, they must be woven in to one India.